Hey guys, and welcome back to the first episode of Let's Play Tornado Mod. Tornado Survival. Uh, thought a couple ways about doing this and how I want to, like, do the whole thing. So, because really this could go on forever. We might never see a tornado or whatnot. So, I'm going to mess around with the settings. So, we might not have anything happen the first couple times because I'm really confusing how it works. I'm not sure if high numbers are better or low numbers are better. Or better. Um... They seem to be right in the middle, and I'd like to make things a little bit more common. And then the rain's all weird also, but I don't know how to fix that, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. But anyways, I was going to play in hardcore, but then I realized there'd be mobs, and I don't want to die because I got killed by a freaking zombie. So we're just going to play in survival, and I'm just going to keep it on easy or peaceful so we don't have to worry about the mobs. And if we die once because of some sort of natural occurrence like tornado, hurricane, wind, something like that, then the series is going to over. It's going to be done. Um, so hopefully we can get at least a good bit of stuff out of it. Now, tornado survival. Look at them there, tornado. Survive. I didn't spell that right. Survival. There we go. Well, what options? Twista. Okay, create new world. This will probably just be basic stuff. Hopefully we're near a planes biome. Come on. Um, what the heck? It's th I was in the world. Alright, sorry about that. That was weird. Minecraft, like, crashed on me. Um, I don't know if it was the mod or what. Perfect. We spawned some trees. How awesome. Let's live in the treetops. That's good protection for a tornado, correct? Ow. Um, I think that'll work. Okay, we got some planes. I don't want to live in the snow because it's not the same effect having a tornado in the snow. So let's go over this direction and see what we've got. I'd like to live near the water also because... That's weird. There's lots of, uh... In case of a hurricane. And also because there's lots of water spouts that will form, so I think it'll be kind of interesting. Um... Okay, I can turn that off. I won't be using that. This is all survival mode. I just have it on there because I was testing out some stuff. Okay, jungle biome. Ugh, they're everywhere. I don't see what's so awesome about them. They're cool, but they spawn too often. Mushroom biomes? Okay, on the World of Elder map, there's like a couple small islands in the middle of nowhere that have like five mushrooms on them. It's a mushroom biome. It's a lot of mobs. But um, as far as everything else goes, no, I don't want to be on hard. Um, as far as everything else goes, there's not, like, anything to worry about. That sentence didn't even make sense. <laughs> that did not make sense. Um, there's nothing to, to explore. It's all, um, it's all jungle. That sentence still did not make sense. It's jungle. There's too much jungle. And not enough of some of the other class, like, the other biomes. Like, there's not a lot of this cool stuff. Like, with normal trees. Alright, we'll live on this lake. I don't know if anything's going to spawn on this lake, but... Um, I'm just going to go and create it so I don't waste your time. And I want to find a, just find a good spot to see if there's any water. Because I just need to be high up to, to spawn and see if it's actually a body of water or just a river. <laughs> Is that a ravine? Ooh. Wow, impressive. Holy crap. That cuts all the way through that mountain. Okay, normal tree biome. Which I wouldn't mind living in also, but it seems a little bit too hilly. Yeah, no ocean, just more mountains. That's too elevated. Yeah, we'll go back to that plains and live on that lake. That sounds good. So actually what I'm going to do is kill myself. And then we'll just have to walk back over. On the way down, we'll see if we see any gold. me down. Fine, then I'll just jump off the tree myself. Oh, 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 too bad that wasn't hardcore. Okay. Oh, series is over. Sorry, guys. That was it. Alright. Let's go live over here. We'll go punch some trees. And yeah, I'm probably going to cut to that so you guys have seen that a million times. And um, once I get some supplies, I will go 
go ahead and get started. Alright guys, I'm back. I got some supplies. Ooh, it's a little gusty. It's a little bit windy up on these mountain tops. That wind just makes it sound like a tornado is going to come out of the woods any second. Oh yeah, it's a little bit windy up here. That's a cool effect. Anyways, got some wood, got some cobblestone, just got some, spent some time getting some basic stuff. Um, <coughs> we're going to go ahead and start just building a wood, good old fashioned wood planked house. And the nostalgia music hits. Waste the sword. Thank you. This wind just doesn't match the music. Right now. We should be all happy building our house, not worrying about a tornado destroying it all. But then again, where's the fun in this? Come here. I'm wasting the sword and punching all these. That's the thing I hate. It's stupid. And I do need coal. Crap, I didn't get cold. Cave system? Yes, yes. Can't see nothing. Lighting glitch. I made like three wood sword like axes and just went out and cut everything. Replanted. Replanted it all, so. Come on, no coal. Oh my gosh, you poor sheep! You poor sheep! Okay, let's get some iron. So we can make some sirens. How do you sheepies get down here? I need a bed. I'm gonna kill you. Come hither. Oh, die, you freaking beast! You give me wool? Yes, you give me wool. I can't see. Oh, there's coal. I think. Where? Oh, right here. Okay. Hopefully, sorry it's dark for you guys, but it'll be okay in a second. Why is there still wind in this cave? Like, storming out or something? Already? But supposedly those are supposed to be sand particles, but... Sure. Okay, I'm gonna try to see if I can wait until I can smell this. Hopefully I won't starve to death. I might just put it on peaceful so we don't have to worry about this. We just have to worry about surviving. Unfortunately, there's no ocean nearby, so it looks like we're gonna have to just live on this. Because if this was an ocean, water spouts would form all the time out on it when it stormed. I think we're gonna live right on this little thing. Okay, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna I guess I'm gonna put up an episode tomorrow and we're just gonna do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. If that becomes too much, it'll just be like once, like just Wednesdays or something. As far as videos every day goes. Now, let's Ooh, lots of clay for brick. I think that's pretty strong against the storms. I'll put a little snippet at the end of what happened to an NPC village. When I spawned a tornado, ran and hid in one of the houses as it barreled down. The screen went all gray and fuzzy, and next thing you know, I ended up... Um, I ended up in another house that I didn't start out in. <laughs> so, they can be pretty intense. Okay, two... Schmouch dot. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Two, one, two... One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Nope, I didn't want to do that. You suck. Mr. Squid, I don't know how you're surviving in that, but. Okay, we'll just do this. We weren't going to have any windows, we're going to live in a box for now, so. Okay, doorway, we'll put the doorway over here. Lovely, it's just about to get dark. Hopefully zombies won't break this down either. Oh wait, they can't, so never mind. I don't need that up. I keep forgetting that's up. Okay, we need to go find another sheep before it gets dark. Hey, right there! Hey, what my lucky day! 
I'll save you for later. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Person. Ooh, it's getting cloudy. Maybe we'll get some rain tomorrow. They need to make like a weather station that you can like build and put in your house and it'll show you like pressure and stuff so you know when storm is a the storm is a broom. Okay, that'll work for now. Right, let's make some torches. Let's make a comma. Bed. Hey, perfect. Pillow. Oh man, too. That'd be cool if you could make I'm gonna get that mod probably, but shovel. I don't know why I didn't use it. We'll go ahead and we'll put a cobblestone roof just for good measure. I don't have enough. <sighs> Crap. Um, hmm. I'll just go get some more from that cave. Well, anyways, the new update for the 3DS came out. It was a short notice update, and I completely forgot it was coming out today, and I got home, and uh, I went on my 3DS blog, and I was like, <gasps> So, I have, like, all the videos, because, I mean, I got a release day, so I have tons of videos, and I have, I'm trying to get, like, all the demos to the games I don't have. I mean, I didn't get Nintendo, because I already have that. But I do need to get a new memory card, and it, I have so much junk that it's a little bit ridiculous how much is on my menu. Um, and I, it'd be nice if I just could organize it a little bit better, because if you guys don't know, I'm a pretty OCD person. I like to have things organized like that. It bothers me, so I try not to look at it. Are you kidding me? What? This is, what is this? No! No! Why is there Enderman outside my house? <gasps> Crap, they can spawn in here, it's three high. Oh my gosh. Why, of everything, must two Endermen spawn outside my house? That is absurd. Screw you, frickin' programming. You suck. Which shovels are so pointless? Why did I need them? Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight, am I? Oh, I can make a water bucket and steal some water and scare him away. That'll, we'll have to do that. Okay, I'm gonna smell this or take that food. Put that to my chest, along with that and that and that. Okay. You haven't forgotten yet, have you? Oh, you can't get in the doorway. Ha! needed to teleport away. I want to sleep, you're gonna have to go. Ooh, it's windy out tonight. It's pushing me around a little bit. Got a lake wind. Easy, these mobs are spawning like crazy. What is this? I'm gonna go to sleep before this before I run into a creeper. But I also saw that the Nintendo 3DS menu was rearranged too. So that's always cool. Like the menu, the eShop. I hadn't really seen anything else. So. Yeah, the wind's pushing me around a little bit today. Maybe we'll get some rain. Who knows? I'm gonna go click that sugar cane and we'll start a little farm. Whoa, that creeper's getting sucked away. Ooh, it is really windy. Look at that creeper go. He's trying to go against it too. Interesting, a storm must be forming somewhere close by. Keep an eye to the sky. We need to do some mining and such stuff like that. Take some roses for our house. Take some of this. Oh, and uh, Joseph, or the person who commented on my video, one of my friends, the black bars around the screen, um, I think if I know what you're talking about, there's not really, um, it's, it's just the way it records. I have a 23 inch size monitor and it's a little bit awkward dimension cause it's like a wider screen than like the square screen that, that, um, the heck? 
like the wind's affecting it. The square, more squarish screen that um, YouTube uses. So those black bars on the outside, it makes it smaller, I understand, but there's nothing I can really do about it. It's just the way Fraps records mine and then it, how it gets plugged into um, get, gets plugged into YouTube. There's nothing I can really do about that. So unfortunately, you can in order to get rid of you can't get rid of them, but if you if it makes it too small to see, if you're on an eye touch, you can like double tap and it'll fill up this whole screen. Um, or it should at least. I know I looked I watched one of my videos on my eye touch and it was a little bit small. I'm sorry for that. But um, if you do it on YouTube, they have like the large player, you can put it in large player mode. Um, and yeah, like you put it into a larger player and it'll fill up like across the screen and you can also put it in full screen my videos do go pretty high quality and I know like the, the like the quality that it is in already if you put it full screen it's really blurry so if you can put it in like I don't think I have HD but if you put it a little bit higher quality it'll it'll work out I think I know it's not the full screen video like every else like most people on YouTube but it's just the dimensions that it records on my computer because I have such a big computer screen so, sorry about that. Sorry if it bugs you, but I can't do anything. So, yeah. I think after I smelt this glass and put it in a window, that's going to wrap up this video. We're just setting stuff up again. I'd like to set the, the rate up so it, try, it rains or storms almost every day. But I'm really going to have to do some more research on these configurations because they weren't working for what I tried. And if I typed in, I guess, illegal numbers that didn't make sense with the code, then I ended up with a bunch of, like, errors, and it wouldn't save it, and it'd be all red, or, um, that would get, like, the saving chunks error that happened the first time, so I had to, like, put in a new configuration thing. Okay. Let's see, put windows right here. out there for you little creeper or is it just because you're really light and crap I need to go kill you before you freaking blow my house up I'm getting you away from my house thank you that wasn't so bad now was it come on give me one more and we'll be set it looks like the torch, the wind affects these torches now that I got my windows open, they're all blowing around. Doom, 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 six. I've got a buttload of freaking homework to do. Uh, I've got a project to do, and then I got a review session for chemistry at the library again, because the AP test is coming up really soon. So without further ado, this has been Mike, and if you guys, in support of this series, if you guys are enjoying it, I'd really appreciate it if you show that you were enjoying it and want me to continue this on. And if you like this idea, I'll take suggestions and or constructive criticism. If you want me to do something different in the series, or if you have advice on how to use the configurations, please let me know. I will thank you in the next video if you can figure out the best settings so that it occurs more often and more destructively, and so that the rain looks better and there's lightning. Uh, and Rate, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff you guys like to do to my videos. I'm going to go play Elden for like a half hour, and then I'm going to go do some homework, and I'll play this video. So I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.